What's up gamers? One of the first big glitches have dropped for duplicating materials in Tears of the Kingdom. I'm going to be showing you how to do this before it's patched. Remember, you can use this if you want or you don't have to use this. Let's get into it. It's going to be really quick and simple. So let me explain the basics of this. Basically, what we're trying to do is equip one bow, right? And then that bow is going to get dropped while we're holding an item on it, right? And then after you equip that bow and drop it, you're then going to equip another bow. The goal of this is to go quickly from like here to the next menu. And you want that bow not to hit the floor because the I think the more delay you have, the harder it is. Then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to drop this bow. So you want two bows to completely stack on each other or be on the ground. And then you're going to have your final third bow. When you have your third bow ready to go, at that point, when you check whatever item you attach, it should duplicate. Let me show you in a proper example, right? Because this, this is a learning process. So hold the bow you want, okay? I have four right now, and I'm selecting the one I want. I'm going to then drop this, equip the next bow, hit B plus real fast, drop this one, equip the next one, and then I am pretty much going to be done. At that point, I'm going to now have five star fragments, okay? You guys got that? So pretty much... The most useful ways to do this is for items you don't really want to go for. And now this has become one of the most infinite ways of money farming in the game. And diamonds sell for a lot of money in this game. So if we were to try to pull this off with a diamond, this is going to be crazy here. Okay, so here's my one diamond, okay? So here we go again. This is my most expensive. This is a very expensive item. Uh, so hopefully I get this right. So you're going to drop, select the next weapon, B plus, drop, select the next weapon, B plus, now I'm done. And if I select my items, I now have two diamonds. <laughs> I have just gotten diamonds for a pretty good price over here. So this is working out pretty well. All right. So <laughs> let's just see how much a diamond sells for it. Ready? So it's 500 rupees for one diamond. <laughs> so you're going to pretty much... Uh, there we go. I'm going to sell one. And 500 rupees. Just like that. So um, yeah, this is a lot faster than any money farming method possibly in existence. Uh, and it's that simple. It's just aim. Select the diamond. Plus. And you're going to get used to this pretty quick. So you're going to drop. Equip. Gotta go faster than that. Whoops. Uh, hold that. Select your diamond. Then drop. Equip. Drop. Equip. And done. And we have two diamonds. And you're gonna keep doing this over and over. Let's try it on his own device. So I'm gonna select cannons. I have six cannons. I'm gonna hit plus. I'm going to drop. Equip. B plus. Drop. Equip. B plus. And at that point, I should have my extra cannon. So we should have seven. Yep, it also works on Zone devices. So it looks like you could do that as well. Um, if you have any expensive or rare meats or foods, please use this responsibly. And um, yeah, enjoy your single player game. And you don't have to patch your game if it does come out. But you can stock up on money and get a lot of things you want. It's totally up to you. I hope you guys can use this in whatever you need. If you enjoy a little glitch like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one.